So, boom! Today we are unboxing a very, very special toy. Uh, yes, we are. I think it's one of uh, a very well known and revered artist around the world, and I think a lot of us in MJ are big fans of this artist. It is Washizu by James Jean, collaboration with, with Staple. Uh, right, right. Ooh, this, is staple. this is a huge box. It's like taking up most of the frame right now, so let's just get down to business. Yeah. Oh, it's right. huge, man. Here, I'll hold it down. Okay. Alright. Right. Boom. Wow. Alright, okay, so let's take a look here at the packaging. So on top of the box, we have the Staple and James Jean Collect. And then over here at the front, what do we have? It's the main artwork. Oh. Okay. Come, shall we? I think this is quite a quite a, a sophisticated toy to to uh, unbox because uh, it has a lot of parts to assemble. Yeah, you probably need the help of a friend to open it. First thing, first things first, we have the certificate of, of authenticity. Correct, and then here we have the artist name James Jean, and then the name of the toy Washizu. And if you look closely. We do have a very special segment here where it says it's the 150 year piece out of 300 pieces. Right. And it also says the edition because it's the second colorway. Are you ready? Who? Oh, what? That's a lot of parts though. So we start off, we have the uh, arrows assembly guide card. Uh, all the arrows are numbered and they're arranged in a way that is similarly arranged in the packaging. And then uh, what else does it come with? Uh, okay, so we have uh, the Mighty Jack set of authenticity and of course the usual one, we have the Kekka. I mean, it looks different from the current one because it's... Old product. Yeah. Legacy product. Correct. Legacy product. Yeah. So it also comes with this uh, collected pin. Yeah. Ooh. With an uh, arrow that's pierced through. Uh, wing. Yes. Correct. And voila, we have all the arrows that's packed nicely in the fold. Uh-huh. And the toy. It's coming out, baby. Push harder. Oh, oh my god, it's huge. <laughs> Basically, like what I mentioned, this is the second colorway. This is the first colorway. This I think particular piece uh, was um, painted by James Jean himself. Uh -huh. Based off his work onto the first colorway. And then the second edition one, as you guys can see, comes in the bone white. Edition, yeah. correct. But it looks weathered, mm. right? It looks weathered. It's not pure clean white. It's it's like a a little bit uh, stained, a little bit worn out look. You know. Let's get to assembling. What y'all gotta do is to follow the instructions on the arrows assembly cut. Please be very gentle with it when you're assembling, because uh, if you're not gentle with it, the arrows might break. Yeah. 16, 17. Oh. We are done. We are done. Oh my god, look at. Oh, actually, it does look crazy once you add in the arrows. Let's dive a little bit into the artist himself, James Jean. What do you like about his art style? I mean, I wouldn't say I'm an expert on his work. Either. I'm just like a fan. fan uh. I, I like his stuff. Mostly his subjects that uh, drew me to his work. Like the way he composes his artwork and pretty much the whole imagery that he comes up with. Like from my perspective or from an outsider perspective, it would be like, what the f do you think of this? Like, Correct. What Correct. was he thinking? Correct. Yeah. 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 Stuff that. Pretty much out of the world, right? Yeah, it's out of this world, mythological and fiction. Although it, it does uh, reference like uh, things that we do here on, on Earth, like, you know, it's the way he depicts all these imagery that through different analogies, they like short of subjects, to, right? You know, keep following his work. Do you know the story behind this album? Um, I have a rough gauge of what it was about. Mm. So actually, it's based off a masterpiece by Akira Kurosawa. 
Oh, um, wow. 1957. Um, What's long time ago? From the Black. So, oh, so the, the movie, the, the film is titled From the Black. Yeah, so basically it's it's a uh, mirroring the uh, this guy's name called um, General Washizu. So he's the protagonist of that film. Okay. If I'm not wrong, also like the this piece, the original piece, mm. the scalp, the original colorway was created for to celebrate a uh, staples uh, 20th anniversary back in 2017. Correct. Right, so it's kind of it's kind of like a very sentimental uh, moment uh, for Jeff Staple as well for his brand that's come a long way. And then, how about the size? Looks huge, right? This is huge. This is a huge piece. I think we need to whip out the oh. To the face cheek. <laughs> so it's basically around ten inches. Ten inches. If you want to display, you should put the arrows in so it will take up a lot of space on the display okay. cabinet and shelf. This is a really, really, really huge piece. If you guys are wondering, this product is no longer for sale. And only an addition size of 300. This is the 150th piece. Yeah. If you guys don't have it, this is your only chance to win it. To win it. To win it. To win it. Is it done? It's time. What time is it for? Cinematic. And to my face, look into the list. It's like color green. Thank you for watching this video. The winner for last week's giveaway contest is Congratulations on winning a Liberty Girl by Brandalized. Here's a chance to win a Washizu Bone Edition by James Jean and Staple. Simply like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and tell us your favourite art piece by James Jean and why in the comment section below. We'll select our favourite answer and announce it in the next unboxing video on 24th December 9am Eastern Time. That's all, see y'all next time.